I think I want people to roll up on the Rakow and be like, I've never seen anything like that before. I want them to, I want them to question everything they know about everything that they can see within that work. Graffiti, is that graffiti? Or why is graffiti in this gallery? But it's not really graffiti, I don't understand. Or did he write on the glass? Yeah, but it's, you know, <laughs> it ain't coming off. So I want people to sort of like be bewildered by it in a way that they haven't experienced that collection of those elements, which is like the same feeling that I get when I think about hip hop and that like elemental function of that type of creativity to be like, wow, like you guys just put together some dance, some visuals and some poetry and then all of a sudden we're all transformed here. I want them to feel like they're in front of the RZA who's breaking down math and you're just like, okay, that makes perfect sense. Never heard it before, but obviously. So that's what I'm looking for. My father was, among many things, also a craftsman. He was a carpenter. He was good with his hands. And you know, for me, graffiti is like this gateway craft. <clears throat> I wish I could say I have a long, extensive painting career. I don't. I mean, it's just like it requires a very specific lifestyle within a lifestyle. So it's this, I'm able to like compartmentalize it into this craft that I feel like was one of a number of different crafts that I've been exposed to that I've tried to learn. And so in that way, it is like this, this tradition or craft tradition that spurred me on to glass making effectively. But also, again, I mean, it's like not, it's just like not this linear thing. It's just it's like also happening with that is this idea that like I should be learning more about something and pushing the boundaries on it while also questioning where it came from and what it does in its own right. A lot of the way that I work is reminiscent of that hip hop methodology, which is hot and fast or rough and ready. Like get on the street and get it out and then, and then go home. So glass making is very, is very body oriented in all of its processes. And I like to think that I embody that kind of movement, that sort of like ergonomics of movement, but also efficiency in movement. You can't be in on that wall forever. You got to get the paint down and go. You know, break dancing on the street. It's weather. It's police. It's anything. The glass shop is heat. It's time. It's the elements of gravity and temperature. Yeah, it's interesting that you, I've never pinpointed it like that, like Miami, New York, Istanbul, Jerusalem. These are places where there is like, there's no singularities there. There's lots and lots of different types of people, ways of thinking. And I, that must be a reflection of like who I am. I'm, I'm multicultural, I'm half black, I'm half white. I've got Jewish roots, I've got black American roots. And so I've always been a mix of lots of things 
physically and otherwise. Um, so I think maybe that is why I am drawn to these places. I fit in a lot better, meaning I don't stand out. And I think that those places, it is the result of those cultural conflicts that make these places so interesting and culturally delicious. I think that the definite Latino influence of, and Caribbean influence of South Florida and Miami is like, it's in me, it's in the way I dress, it's like in the way I think, it's in the way I interact with some people. And then New York is the birthplace of everything great that ever happened, including hip hop. Then traveling farther east to places like Turkey and, and the Middle East and, and North Africa, because I was able to like integrate, I was able to see what was happening in those places. And specifically picking up traditions in, in the near and Middle East, like calligraphy and geometric patterns, um, Sufi, mysticism and alchemy they are beautiful in their own right and they're very interesting historically and have a lot of like content that is that is worth exploring but they're also there are also things that were othered in my own education growing up it's far away it's exotic it's oriental it's weird it's not it's not the western civilization um, norm So my family, my mother, who, like I said, I mean, I was raised by my mother almost entirely and her family. And they come from like a secular Jewish tradition of being inquisitive about where you are and what you're doing um, and what else is out there. That like inherent nature that I was brought up with, coupled with the idea of hip hop being this like core way of looking at things, which is to look at the other, because the other is not represented and needs a voice, really made it apparent that I was gonna be connected to these other cultures somehow. And it was full circle because as I started traveling to these places, I realized that like the music that I had been listening to my whole life was talking about Islam, Judaism, Christianity, world religions, thinking, you know, theologically, so I started to really like dive into that in terms of like, what are they talking about? What is their connection to Islam? I started realizing that some of the lyrics that I was really drawn to were this like breaking down of numbers and letters and this like rote repetition of things that seem too serious to be coincidence between different rappers in different places. And I found that they were talking about the supreme alphabet and the supreme mathematics, which are components of the 5% Nation and the Five Percent Nation is a is a group started by Clarence Thirteen X. So he started the street group that was said, "You need to come here and better yourself through knowledge." Um, and so the Supreme Alphabet and the Supreme Mathematics are these like basic forms of starting to teach yourself how to get knowledge, which I think is pretty amazing to you know exist in a space where people aren't getting taught anything from anybody, from, from the schools that they're supposed to be attending because of lots of structural and systemic issues. So I, I just did a hard deep dive. I was reading about the history of the Middle East. I was reading about Supreme Mathematics. I was re-listening to Wu-Tang, Gravediggers, Guru, Gangstar, again, Queen Latifah, like very early just like re-listening to some of her work from the early 80s and hearing mathematics in that and and like having another light bulb go off like oh that's what they've been talking about this whole time that's why i'm 
like talking about knowledge. You know, it's like one of those points, one of the points between being raised to be inquisitive, learning about music that's also teaching me to be inquisitive. So I saw these individuals using letters and numbers as a way to build expansively, and I thought that I should try the same thing. So I just brought that into my practice. Commission, I've decided to work on the letter B. The Supreme Alphabet says that the letter B is literally B, or to, to exist. It also represents to be born, so to be brought in into existence. And I think that that's pretty powerful stuff. But I've also been adding my own, again, like in the spirit of hip hop, like I wanna bring in my own things to these samples. Like I'll sample from the original platform, but I'm going to add a bunch of my own uh, samples to it. And so I like to just like really marinate on that, that letter. In, in the Arabic alphabet, the second letter of the alphabet is also B or the Bismillah, and it represents um, a breathing out. It's also the first hard letter in the alphabet. Same in the Roman alphabet, it's the hard consonant, it's the first consonant. It's, it's, it's bombastic. It's got a little bit more than the A. The A is first and it has that, but the B is the, B is the bomb. And it's, it also has a lot to do with breath for me. And I've really latched onto that word for this piece. This year has been a year of of dangerous breath. It's been a year of people's breath being taken from them. So I think it was very important for me to state that, that we all need to be thinking about breath right now in a lot of ways.